When we introduced LU decompositions, link in the description to that video, we saw that they are not unique. We saw an LU decomposition of one matrix, and then we found another LU decomposition which was different. And in general, it's easy to see that LU decompositions are not unique when the lower triangular matrix L has non-zero diagonal entries. If we suppose we have this LU decomposition of a matrix A, where L has non-zero diagonal entries, then we could shift these non-zero diagonal entries from the matrix L to the matrix U, and thus obtain a distinct LU decomposition. First, we would factor out those non-zero diagonal entries of L into their own diagonal matrix, like this. Notice that to pull out those diagonal entries, we divided each column by the diagonal entry in that column. So the first column of L was divided by L11, the second column of L was divided by L22, and the third column of L was divided by L33. Hopefully you can see how if we were to perform this matrix multiplication, we would end up getting the original matrix L back. For example, in the process of that matrix multiplication, we would have row 2 matched up with column 1, which would produce this entry in row 2 and column 1, because we'd have this times this, you can see the L11s would cancel out, and that would give us L21. Everything else would be zero when we do that multiplication. For another example, when we get to row three matched up with column two, that would produce this entry in row three and column two, because this entry times this entry would be zero, this entry times this entry would be zero, but then we'd have this entry times this entry, in which the L22s would cancel out, and we would just get that L32. Once we factored out those diagonal entries of L, we can multiply them into the upper triangular matrix U and thus arrive at this distinct LU decomposition of A. Interestingly, when we discussed how to find LU decompositions, we performed Gaussian elimination on the matrix A to obtain U. And so the matrix U has ones in its diagonal entries. The matrix L may not have ones in the diagonal entries. But in this process of finding a distinct LU decomposition, we've now given L ones in the diagonal entries, whereas our new upper triangular matrix may not have ones in the diagonal entries. At times, it may be desirable to have ones in the diagonal entries of both L and U. And so, in fact, this factorization may be desirable, where we have L with ones in the diagonals, U with ones in the diagonals, and in the middle, we basically have those non-zero, non-one diagonals factored out into their own diagonal matrix. And this is where what are called LDU decompositions come from. We can make the lower triangular matrix L have ones in the diagonal, as well as the upper triangular matrix U, by factoring the diagonal entries out of L to a diagonal matrix, provided those diagonal entries are non-zero. And that gives us an LDU decomposition, a lower a triangular matrix L with ones in the diagonal, multiplied by a diagonal matrix D, multiplied by U, an upper triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal. And again, this is what that looks like. If we have this lower triangular matrix L, we can pull its diagonal entries out just like that. So again, each column is divided by the diagonal entry in that column. And then, of course, the diagonal entries get their very own diagonal matrix. And this allows us to write A as a product like this, lower triangular matrix with ones in the diagonal, diagonal matrix, and upper triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal. In this case, we're calling the new lower triangular matrix L prime, since it's an adjusted version of the matrix L. Now, as with LU decompositions, not every matrix will have an LDU decomposition either, but under certain conditions, similar to with LU decompositions, we can be sure that an LDU decomposition exists. Specifically, if A is an invertible matrix, so its diagonal entries will necessarily be non-zero, 
If it's an invertible matrix that can be reduced to row echelon form without any row swaps, then A can be factored uniquely as LDU, where L is a lower triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal, D is a diagonal matrix, and U is an upper triangular matrix with ones on the diagonal. So just like with LU decompositions, it needs to be reducible without swapping rows, but then there's the additional condition that it needs to be invertible, which means that the diagonal entries will be non-zero. So here's a matrix A whose LU decomposition we've previously constructed. In order to turn this into an LDU decomposition, we just have to follow the instructions of this formula. I'll let you give it a try before I put the answer on screen. And there's what it looks like as an LDU factorization. Notice how the diagonal entries of L are stored in this diagonal matrix D. And then to find L prime, that adjusted lower triangular matrix, each column of L is divided by the diagonal entry in that column. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Similarly, in column 2, 0 divided by 9 is 0, 9 divided by 9 is 1, and 3 divided by 9 is 1 third. We continue in that way to construct this L prime du factorization. And again, notice how we have those ones as the diagonal entries of the lower and upper triangular matrices in this factorization. Here's one more example, a 4x4 four four matrix A and an LU decomposition of A. I'll leave a link in the description to a video where we go over constructing this LU decomposition. I'll give you a second now to try finding the LDU decomposition of this matrix A. And spoilers, here it is. Again, the diagonal entries of L are taken out into their own diagonal diagonal matrix D. And then to construct our adjusted lower triangular matrix L prime, we take each column and divide by the diagonal entry in that column. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 2 divided by 8 is a fourth. 0 divided by 8 is 0. And 8 divided by 8 is 1. Moving on to column 2, 0 divided by negative half is 0. Negative half divided by negative half is positive 1. 1 divided by negative half is negative 2 and so on. In this way, we construct the LDU, or L prime DU, factorization of A, in which the lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix both have ones on the diagonal. So that's what an LDU decomposition of a matrix is and how to find it. Again, check out my lecture on LU decompositions if you need more background on that. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to additional videos and extra practice and if if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access the lecture notes used in my courses. Thanks for watching. Audio.